Hello. What's your favourite thing about autumn? Is it crunching through the leaves that are starting to fall? The excuse to light a fire or snuggle up in blankets or a woolly jumper? Pumpkin spice lattes? Or that the Christmas countdown is now into double rather than triple figures? As we move into any new season, there are always good bits to welcome. But there are bits that we miss about the seasons we're leaving behind as well, aren't there? One of the things I miss as we move into autumn is the long days and light that we have in summer. Like quite a few people, I struggle a bit as it gets darker and as we have less sunlight. As someone who suffers at times with anxiety and depression, I often find it's more difficult in autumn and winter. I'm recording this reflection on World Mental Health Day, when mental health is in the headlines and all over social media. Maybe your workplace or school encouraged you to wear something yellow on Friday to mark the day and raise money for mental health charities. We're encouraged on World Mental Health Day and reminded that our mental health is just as important as our physical health. But sadly, there is still lots of stigma and even judgment about mental illness. I don't worry about telling people that I have Crohn's disease, but I do think twice before mentioning that I also suffer from anxiety and depression. I don't worry that people will think less of me for having something wrong with my digestive system, but when it comes to my mental health, I'm less confident of that. Our reading from Philippians today is an interesting one when you think about mental health. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say rejoice. Let your gentleness be known to everyone. The Lord is near. Do not worry about anything, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Rejoice, be joyful, don't worry. Difficult instructions to follow when you're struggling with your mental health. Particularly in a year when there are so many difficulties and worries for so many people. All of us have had disappointments in not being able to go do some of the things we wanted to this year. There have tragically been more deaths and illnesses this year. And there will probably be more to come as well. We haven't been able to spend as much time with friends and loved ones. Many are struggling with the lack of physical contact. Lots of people are more isolated than ever. People have lost jobs or are worried about being made redundant or have had to take significant pay cuts. I'm not sure that the Bible essentially telling us to sing, don't worry, be happy, is particularly helpful or is going to make much difference, good as the song is. Thankfully, though, we're not actually being told by God that it's just a case of mind over matter, a bit of positive thinking and everything will be OK. Struggling with your mental health a little bit or a lot isn't a sign that you're not a good Christian or that you don't have enough faith. What this passage and the beautiful Psalm 23 remind us is that God is with us always in the ups and the downs, in the good times and in the struggles. Philippians says, the Lord is here. God is with us, there for us, all the time, no matter what. And in Psalm 23, we're told that God is with us even in the darkest valley, or as some translations put it, even in the shadow of death, the valley of the shadow of death. One of the things about mental illness is that it can make people feel incredibly alone. We can cut ourselves off from others or feel like nobody would want to be with us anyway. But God is always, always there for us. Always, always there with us. One of my favourite passages from the Bible is from the letter to the Romans. For I am convinced that neither death, 
nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. If nothing can separate us from God, then that means that struggling with our mental health can't either. If you're feeling a bit down, a bit worried, or if you're worried about your mental health, there are lots of good bits of advice out there. If you don't know where to start, please get in touch with me. I've got resources I can share with you. If you're more than a bit low or are really struggling, please get some help. It's hard to ask, I know that, but it really is worth it. You are worth it. As Christians, as followers of Jesus, as friends of Jesus, let's remember that we also have more in addition to those really good mental health tips, counselling and medication that's available. We have a friend who is the light of the world, who can bring light into our darkness. We have a God who is always there for us, who welcomes us and loves us just as we are. If you're in a place where you can rejoice and find things to thank God for, that is brilliant. And we need to make sure that we do that when we can. It's important that we do do that when we can. But we aren't failures when we struggle or can't do that. Sometimes the most real and honest prayer that we can pray is, God help me. There are so many examples right through the Bible of people who felt absolutely hopeless. We get this idea that God most values the strong and positive people. But there wouldn't be so many examples in the Bible of people struggling if God expected us to have it all okay all of the time. Time and time again, we see examples of God upholding those who are struggling. And that's been my experience too. Even when we don't have the strength to hold on to God, God is faithful and will hold on to us. God never lets us go. If you're in a dark valley, please ask God to help you. And if you can, please ask others to help you too. If you're somewhere further up the mountain or even walking beside the still waters of Psalm 23, give thanks and rejoice and do what you can to look after your own mental health and pray for and support those who are struggling. Let's pray. God of hope. We thank you that you walk with us in good times and difficult times. We know that this year has been a really difficult one and that lots of people are struggling for different reasons. We pray for everyone who needs some light or hope in their life today. We pray for all those who care for and support those who are struggling with their mental health. And we ask that you would equip us to do what we can to support others as well. We pray that we would all know that you are there for us, however we feel. Amen. God bless you. Goodbye.